Ah, the best relationships are made during crisis. When you meet a lady who loves you, when you are going through storms, when you are passing through the sheepskins and the goatskins, those are the real people. But my question is, where are the people who can endure ah, to the last minute? Those are the people who believe in God the Father, who believe in God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So I'm not believing today and turn my back on God tomorrow. Believing is believing. From the first day you said I'm giving my life to our Lord Jesus Christ. You are not looking behind to change anything. So the Bible says a good father leaves inheritance to his children. Ah, you just saw uh, when, when Kruby died, uh, he had done the will and uh, he was distributing his uh, uh, wealth to his family. A good father has to leave something to his children. And Jesus said to them, it is good for me to go so that the same spirit can come and dwell inside you. If I just stay here with you, it is not going to be good for you. So the Holy Spirit was going to be an inheritance for the children of God. I'm still building, just walk with me. I'm about to preach. So the basis of the reward will be the stewardship of the inherited resources. I don't know about you, but uh, I have seen this several When someone who was so rich dies and leaves his or her inheritance to the children who are irresponsible, given two months, the inheritance is nowhere. They misuse all the money, misuse all the assets, misuse everything around. They even sell the house they live in because they lack what we call the responsibility. Now, from the creation now of mankind, each individual has been trusted by resources. It is something that happened before the foundations of the earth that God had ordained some resources inside you so that you may give him the glory. The moment you begin articulating, the moment you begin working on these resources so that you can bring forth the multiplication. Uh, what makes God happy is what you do and glorifies God. Even making wealth glorifies God. The person in this story is an example of a good father. For the Bible says the father is about to leave and go for a long journey. Someone said this must be Jesus because only Jesus goes for the long journey and he comes back. Ah, so this is Jesus now. So Jesus is about to go to the long journey and this is a good father because he has something to live with the children. And the Bible says the ability is going to determine how many gifts you are going to be given. So it's not just saying I need a million dollar for what? It's not just saying I received the Range Rover for what? There is a purpose for the Range Rover. There is a reason for a million dollar. So according to the abilities now, the father has to send out the apportionment of the inheritance. And the Bible says the first person received how many talents five talents and to the second son there was how many talents two talents and the father went to the long long journey someone say long 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 journey and when he went this whereby you are going to need what we call the revelation from above when you receive just any money and you don't have a revelation on how you are going to use that money in one way or the other the money can make your life more miserable than how it was. The second one receives two talents. The third one receives one talent. And before he does this, he gives them the warning on what gonna happen to them 
if they only enjoy the resources and they fail to multiply. The meaning of the word multiply means to invest. The meaning of the word investing means to make it better, to make it larger, to make it big. Praise the name of the living God. Jesus said if they who are going to believe, the same power will come on you and you are going to perform the signs and wonders. You are going to do many miracles than what I have done. Jesus is talking about the multiplication and the investment of his power inside you.